Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we are working on a commercial ice machine and we're going to show you exactly how to change the water filter. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumperman Tech. As you can see this filter is in quite bad shape. This is what a new filter cartridge looks like. This is a sediment water filter cartridge at five microns and the filter life is about three to six months. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to replace it. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to turn the power off to your unit. So you're gonna put the unit on off and that should do, or you could turn it off and to be extra safe, turn off the breaker. Right now, I have the touchpad actually not in here and that is because the touchpad for the other ice machine went bad and I'm actually using that. So I can give this system a wash because with the touchpad that is originally from this unit, which is right here, it doesn't go into wash mode. Right now, as you can see, it says it's rinsing and we're giving it a wash with some full grade ice machine cleaner. So pretty much you would touch this button here, turn it off, and from there we can close the water valve, drain the remaining water in the line, and replace the filter. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna wanna close the water supply. This is fresh water coming from the city, so we're gonna follow the pipes. One end goes into the unit. That's not gonna be the one that we're looking for, so we're gonna follow the pipes come along and here we have a valve and we're just going to simply close it when the handle is facing the same side as the pipe that means that we are open and right now we are closed and this could definitely use a screw to be secured and i will do so oh wow we actually have a leak here all right take care of that too let's just zip this screw in so we have a little support on this pipe because i don't like how this thing is just dangling like that it's honestly pretty dangerous all right so there is a special hook special tool which grabs onto here it just looks kind of like a tennis racket you come up and you just spin this as you can see this is literally loose so this one we're gonna take off by hand. Get a little bucket underneath. And we're gonna dump the remaining water. Okay, put a bucket here to catch the remaining water. There is quite a difference to this filter. I definitely recommend wearing gloves while you do this. Wow. So we're gonna take our filter and if we look inside, there's like a little thing sticking out where you can stuff it in here. Make sure that adds up. And then this part has a hole and you're gonna wanna get it around here and around this enclosure well. Also, this was leaking. You want to make sure that the black gasket inside here is tight and inside. And I think this just was honestly extremely loose. So let's just get this in here, spin it back on and just make sure this is tight. Typically, you could hand tighten this, but there is a tool where you want to give it the extra push, but I could see here, it was already broken off. They tried and they might've just gave up. And that's why you found it, saw it leaking. It's just super loose and I guess it's just how they do it, but I would recommend using that tool. Do not carry one on my truck. And I spoke to the engineer, they do not have one in here. So that solves that mystery. Got this tight gonna open the water and as we turn this we're gonna fill this up 
right there. You check for any leaks. Everything looks pretty good. It's a nice clean filter. Everything looks pretty good. No leaks. And that is pretty much it with this.